There were a lot of highlights from the second night of the first Democratic Party debate. When it comes to Bernie Sanders, I think he was the strongest on Medicare for all. He had a phenomenal closing statement and he got his message across and did enough to maintain his position in the current field. But what I was hoping he would do is kind of start to take the gloves off. And I think, you know, a couple of months down the line, he's going to really have to be more forceful. But one area that got my attention was when he started to call out Joe Biden for um, basically being a warmonger. Joe Biden is functionally in alignment with a lot of neoconservatives. He's not as bad as someone like Joe, John Bolton, um, but he's still... He voted for the Iraq War. He was part of the administration that turned Libya into a failed state. So Bernie Sanders hit him on this. He didn't hit him as hard as I would have liked, but it was still a great moment. You voted for the Iraq War. You have since said you regret that vote. But why should voters trust your judgment when it comes to making a decision about taking the country to war the next time? Because once, we, once Bush abused that power, what happened was we got elected after that. I made sure the president turned to me and said, Joe, get our combat troops out of Iraq. I was responsible for getting 150,000 combat troops out of Iraq, and my son was one of them. I also think we should not have combat troops in Afghanistan. It's long overdue. It should end. And I thirdly, I believe that you're not going to find anybody who has pulled together more of our alliances to deal with what is the real stateless threat out there. We cannot go it alone in terms of dealing with terrorism. So I'd eliminate the, the, uh, the, the, the act that allowed us to go into war and not the AUMF and make sure that it could only be used for what its intent was, what its intent was, and that is to go after terrorists, but never do it alone. That's why we have to repair our alliances. We put together 65 countries to make, make sure we dealt with ISIS in Iraq and other places. That's what I would do. That's what I have done, and I know how to do it. Senator Sanders, 30 but seconds. One of, the differences, one of the differences that Joe and I have in our record is Joe voted for that war. I helped lead the opposition to that war, which is a total disaster. Second of all, I helped lead the effort for the first time to utilize the War Powers Act to get the United States out of the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen, which is the most horrific humanitarian disaster on Earth. And thirdly, let me be very clear, I will do everything I can to prevent a war with Iran, which would be far worse than disastrous war with Senator Iraq. Sanders, thank you. So that's what I want to see from Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders has the credibility, unlike any other candidate, to where he absolutely can brag about his phenomenal record. He has the best record out of anyone in politics, hands down. So you have a right, you've earned the right to brag, and with bragging comes, you know, this acceptance that you can call out the candidates who aren't as good as you. And calling out Biden here was phenomenal. Now, since we're on the topic of foreign policy, Bernie Sanders did really great here in talking about foreign policy, and he boasted about his foreign policy credentials in a way that I think was really important. Um, he needed to say this because a lot of people say that Bernie just isn't effective and he proposes all of these policies, but they never get passed. And what he did in this debate was he said, this is what I have accomplished. This is what I just accomplished. He brought up Yemen and he did a great job. So overall, just a bright spot, you know, for all of you brothers of the Bernard, um, Bernard brothers, whatever we're calling ourselves nowadays, um, he did a great job. His performance was very solid, and it's why I think he was one of the winners of this debate. He's going to have to turn up the heat a little bit next time, um, but for now, I think he did good enough, and I think that calling out Joe Biden is absolutely the correct strategy. You have to dunk on the front runner, otherwise that front runner will maintain that status. But if you all agree that we've got to bring down the front runner, then nobody's going to be singled out as someone who is being overly aggressive or overly hostile or vindictive. So I think that Bernie should have not played as nice. However, still, the fact that he um, called out Biden here, it mattered and it was really one of the highlights of the debate for me. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.